Alright everybody, it's been a while since I've done anything. And I've got some Cornish game hens here that I am going to spatchcock or butterfly, depending on what you want. I actually might just go ahead and cut them in half. But basically what we're going to be doing is removing this backbone. And we'll split them in half and then I'll season them up and I'll be cooking them on the trigger tomorrow. At least that's the plans. Uh, last time I did these, I spatchcocked them. And I ended up cutting them in half. But I'm going to do like a uh, vinegar and butter based on them. And I've already kind of rinsed these off and double checked them for uh, any feather quill things that might still be in there and make sure they're all looking good and if you've never spatchcocked or butterfly whatever you want to call it technical term is spatchcock you want some poultry shears these ones do all right i just got them at safeway uh sometimes they work sometimes they don't so i have a backup pair just in case so basically, you're gonna find your backbone here. And, you're, and these are actually pretty simple. Because they're not hard. You're just gonna cut down the side of the backbone all the way down. So cut. I'll do it again on the other side here. And do be careful because you are cut, there are sharp bones, so you can get poked really easily, which I have done. And you don't want to do keep doing that. So backbone is separated. And then basically, like at larger chickens and turkeys, you'll kind of score the breastbone here. But and with our thing, we're just gonna kind of push down. It's not hard because they're small, they're kind of tender, and you just flatten it out like this. But now, if you want to cut in half, you can cut down the breastbone here and just cut, you know, cut that out. And but I think I will go ahead and just leave them like that. That's one. I got three. Just down the middle. And of course, you get some some innards still stick in there. You can just toss those aside if it grosses you out. And there's not much trimming you have to do on these. I mean, you can. Yeah, there's a little bit of fat there. I'll just cut off my. These are my backup shears. Actually, pretty nice. I'm like doing CPR. You're just kind of snapping it. And again. Just down the middle on the side of that backbone. Now I'm larger. Roasting hens, roast chickens, turkeys, it is a lot more difficult. There's some chefs that will just use a knife. They don't use poultry shears. So, hopefully. And 
that is it for that part. Now all I'm going to do is rub these down with oil and sprinkle my albacue chicken seasoning on it.